Thank you. As you probably gathered from the evening, um, I'm a card magician and I use playing cards predominantly. And I collect playing cards as well. And the Ace of Spades is my favorite card to collect. I collect them from all over the world. And I use the Ace of Spades to practice magic and then for magic itself, but also for cheating at cards. That's enticing, isn't it, for cheating at cards as well. I've got a whole bunch of them here. Let me just show you. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a whole bunch of them, basically. Now, there's not much you can do with a whole bunch of ace of spades, but I'm going to mix them face up and face down to keep my hands young and supple. That's my practice, really, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they face up, face down, face up, face down through the whole packet. True? Yeah. You've seen me do that. But I'm going to split them into two groups. So here we have face up, face down, face up and face down, and the opposite here. But being a magician, if I snap my fingers and cross my hands, these will all now be face up, and all these will be face down. Hopefully, anyway. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Because look over here, there's the first one. If I shake the packet, all these are now face up. Now, there's two ways of doing this, by the way, with applause all the way we're doing it right now. <laughs> And if these are all face up, these are now instantly all face down, which is true. So that's the magical part. But I also said cheating at cards. Now, there's not much you can do with a whole bunch of ace of spades, is there? But like we said earlier, if you play poker, you cannot beat a royal flush in spades. But also, if you play poker, you need a lot of money to pay off all your debts, which you can do with cash or credit cards. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.